So Kim, would you mind sharing a little bit of your testimony? I know you, you talked about God's calling on your life, but there's a lot more to that story. Amen. I grew up in a Christian home, you know, from the youngest of age going to church. I went to a, a Nazarene college and studied uh, theology because I knew the Lord wanted me to go into missions. But that was delayed. And um, when the timing was right, he sent me. And one thing I've learned, several things, but one of them is the Lord prepares you ahead of time. And he uses tragedies in your life as your best education sometimes. And so we don't look at tragedies as a total destruction. We need to look at tragedies as education because the Lord's going to use it. In Ephesians 2.10, it says, we're created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which he's prepared in advance for us to do. And I can see my whole life has been a preparation uh, for missions. And um, he's brought me there. And another thing is just show up. The Lord prepares the people. I showed up untrained, not knowing anything. And the Lord had the prepared people right there for me. And when we send out our mission teams, they're prepared. Let me just tell you one story. If you want to Google General Butt Naked, B-U-T-T, -T, one of the most evil warriors, a good friend of mine who's Christian now. And one of the most powerful strongholds of Satan was in a place called Pinestown. And General Butt Naked was from that area. I go into Pinestown, and these three men just start following me everywhere. I had to walk to Pinestown. I'd probably walk three or four hours. This is in the beginning. And these three guys just kept following me wherever I'm going. I'm thinking, this is, you know, what's going on here? One of them said, well, one of us had a dream that a white man was gonna to come to our town. He was gonna have little blue Bibles follow him. And I was distributing the little blue Gideon Bibles. Well, right now these people are church planters and leaders in our ministry. But another fun story, I'm, a, you know, I'm unarmed, I'm not a fighter. And this is the stronghold. Pinestown was one of the most powerful strongholds in Liberia. But Satan knows who I am. And I show up in that town. And they have the demonic society. And the leaders and all the members of the demonic society, when I walked in that town, were overcome with terror and ran as fast as they could and hid in the bush until I left. Hmm. And the reason is the enemy knows that I can cast them out and, and they don't want to be cast out. And so the enemy put fear in them and they ran and hid. Well, we got churches there now. Amen. And hmm. the demonic society is broke down. And uh, the not demonic leader, his name is devil. And the devils become Christian. And there's just been a great change. And, and so Satan was smart trying to get, get him out of town, but it didn't work, you know. He tried to get Jesus out of town. That didn't work either, <laughs> you know. But we just show up. And the Lord has the people prepared for us. Yeah, amen. Amen.